Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Airtable with Google Sheets. First of all, we have to create uh, an account at Airtable.com, uh, that's for the starters. And once we are here, we want to check for integrations. Basically, uh, you just write in the uh, search engine Airtable slash integrations, that's the, literally the fastest way uh, how you can get there. And as you can see, there are a couple of integrations that you can go with. Like all of those, but as you can see, there's uh, no Google Sheets options. What we wanna do, we can uh, use uh, two applications to make this integration happen. First of which is automate.io. Uh, automate right now, we want to go to the uh, website and start with integrations. When we are at, uh, at an integrations, we want to go to see all categories. Uh, now uh, you can search from all these categories and pick one that suits you. For example, in our case, it's uh, Airtable. We can uh, uh, straight click on it or use search engine. As you can see, let's go with Airtable. And the second application uh, will be the one that we are looking for. It's a uh, Google Sheets like this. And now you can just uh, start for free. Uh, those are some popular integrations. And when you go down there, you can uh, make your own integration. So trigger uh, will be new record or update the record in Airtable. We want to start with Airtable. So let's go with new record. And what will happen in uh, Google Sheets uh, when the new trigger happen? Uh, it will update row, for example, and try it now. It's completely up to you. You can go with try. Uh, you log in and you just finish your integration. The other way around, I'm sorry, is Zapier.com, which is very similar application to Airtable. Also uh, to, I'm sorry, Automate. Also Airtable is using uh, Zapier for uh, the integrations. So once we create our account at zapier.com, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. Right now you have to name your Zap or you don't have to, but you can. So Airtable to Sheets, for example. Uh, well, following the, the system from Airtable, the uh, starting trigger will be Airtable. Event will be new record or just basically anything from those three. We press continue. Now we have to sign in to Airtable. Epic key. You will find it in the uh, Airtable. You go to the account, and as you can see in ac account overview, there's our API key. We sign in, we copy paste the key, we continue, continue. The trigger will be like this users, we press continue. It will be completely uh, random or completely uh, according to your Airtable sheets. So user research is the one that I used because it was the pre-made by Airtable. Now test uh, the trigger. You don't have to, you don't have to test it. It's, it's just, not, it's not mandatory. And now a uh, second event will happen in uh, Google Sheets. As you can see, action event uh, will be affected by new record in, uh, in uh, Airtable. So let's go with, I don't know, it's completely up to create a worksheet, for example, continue. And now you just sign in to the Google Sheets. And those are your options for integration uh, of Airtable with Google Sheets. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.